Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man who finds out his girlfriend has another boyfriend. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. I 29 male started dating my friend 28 female that I've known since freshman year of college. It was going pretty well. We have the same interests, like the same stuff, and we're part of the same friend group. So there's not like a weird introductory phase where we have to like to introduce each other to our friends right. We've been dating for about 5 years or so and I decided I was going to ask her to marry me. I talk about it with some of my friends and basically come up with the idea that we're going to come into her work on her birthday, pretend to do a happy birthday thing, and then I would get down on one knee. So while we're brainstorming this out, my fiancé has been taking more shifts at this flower seller shop that she works at and I haven't seen her much. I just figured that she was trying to earn some extra money or the shop lost some employees or something and she's helping out. I got some signboards so I can make a big envelope that on the outside will say happy birthday and then on the inside will say will you marry me with a picture of us on it. I thought it would be cute to get some flowers from her shop and get a bouquet too. So I walked in to make sure everything would be cool if we were to come in. Problem is, when I talk to the cashier, I find out that she hasn't worked there in a month. I get home and get ready to call her and ask about that, when I get a text from one of my friends with a picture of her sitting on a bench kissing another guy. Turns out he saw her cheating on me at the park near her house. I learned later that she had been seeing this guy on the side for a couple of months and neither me nor him knew about it. So at this point, I'm completely crushed, but I'm looking at the signboard I got and the bouquet, and I just decide I'm gonna go with the plan anyway. So I tell my buddies the plan. We schedule a surprise for her at her place. Music, flowers, the whole thing. Except when I open the envelope, it's not a picture of us. It's the picture my friend sent of her cheating on me. I told her it's over. She starts crying, trying to explain things to me. I was in a dark place, confused, boo-hoo-hoo, and I just leave all that stuff on the floor and walk back to class. Blocked her on everything and avoided her the whole time. Haven't talked to her since. I'm glad you found out your girlfriend was a cheat before getting engaged to her. Nothing justifies her being in a relationship with guys and cheating on them both. Both you and the guy, assuming he has no idea about your existence, deserve way better than her. I hope she's learned her lesson now. She missed out on a future between the two of you just because she couldn't remain faithful. Story 2 My wife 30 and I 28 have been together for 10 and a half years. Married since July last year. Up until yesterday, I genuinely thought what we had could only be described as a picture-perfect relationship. Barely argued, good sex life, pretty much the same goals, no money problems, and we wanted to spend the rest of our lives together. As of November-December last year, she developed depression that really took hold of her. The big swing came after she was officially told that she could not have kids. She's sort of known this for a while as she had cancer when she was a child, but this made it official. And her grandfather died. She went to the doctors who diagnosed the depression, booked her with a therapist and gave her some antidepressants. Well, she only saw the therapist for four sessions. That was all that was initially booked but the antidepressants seemed to do the trick. In fact, not only did they make her feel normal again, but it knocked her sex drive into overtime. So yesterday, I was at home on the laptop. I went into iPhoto to find a picture from a while back, when I came across some pictures she took of herself in underwear. This didn't lead to any initial concerns, as I know she wanted to take some anyway, but they were initially stored in photo booth. However, one of them, of her in her bra with some nipple showing, had been marked that it had been emailed. My curiosity was piqued. She can't have accidentally clicked email and then deleted the draft, as it said successfully emailed. She wouldn't try to save the draft for the future, as it saved on the laptop. Now, we both know each other's email and Facebook passwords. Not because of any trust issues, but we just ended up knowing them. There were never any problems with this. But with this anomaly, I had to check. So I went into her email and found the picture. It had been emailed, as it had said, to a male friend of hers from uni. And the conversation that preceded it effectively said, without using such words, that she was coming on to him. 
She called herself a self-confessed spankophile, talked about a blowjob that she owed him, in joking terms but made suspicious by the context. She said she was going on a holiday with a female friend to Turkey, and when he asked for the pictures, he said that her friend wouldn't be happy with that, but she'll send him pictures of her, but that he needs to send some of him to reciprocate. This was not just a chat with a good friend that just went a little over the line. This was well over that point. I confronted her, just saying that it was a marked email and implying that she could have just saved it to drafts. Gave her the opportunity to confess or lie, and she lied. We had a long chat, and she admitted that she isn't sure if she loves me anymore. And she's felt like this since November, December. She did say, however, that when she feels like this, she doesn't have any love for anything. This is a symptom of depression. But I just, I need to know how to get over this. I need to know how I can trust her again. I need to know how to stop torturing myself with the thought that if she wasn't so sloppy with covering her tracks, that she would have slept with another man. What do I do? Edit. Please don't simply respond with divorce her or lawyer Facebook Jim. I do want to work through things with her first, but I just need to know what to do now. Update. I just had a chat with her about this. I asked her what she wants from it, if she wants to fix this, if she wants to be with me. She said she does. But she's still not sure. She's not sure what she wants. I've booked some counseling for tomorrow lunchtime for us. Hopefully this will give me some sort of clarity in all this. Whether it's the clarity that I want or not. Right now, she's just gone off to her mother's. She said she'll be back this evening. OP, the biggest thing is you need to be sure that your wife is willing to put in the effort to make your marriage work. Without her genuinely putting in effort, the marriage is going to crumble regardless of what you do. Maybe she needs a wake-up call and realizes that her actions are extremely self-destructive. Or maybe she thinks that you two have grown apart, but we don't really know. With that said, probably the best way of working these things out is to go get marriage counseling, see therapists, and I'm glad you're going for that already. I hope it works out for you. Now for some comments. Good for you on moving forward at least. I imagine that this is pretty painful for you, especially when your wife is around. Maybe you want to think about suggesting she spend the night at her mother's. Also, remember that tomorrow's counseling is just a start. You probably aren't going to get the clarity you need from it right away. Hope things work out for you. I don't think depression is a good excuse for something like this. I've had clinical depression for as long as I can remember. And while no two people are the same, I've never heard of cheating as a symptom or side effect. I feel like the depression could be an excuse for something she wants to do anyway. In a similar fashion to people blaming alcohol for cheating. Edit. I should add as a disclaimer that I'm by no means an expert on depression, just because I have it. This very well could have something to do with depression, I just personally don't believe so. When the divorce comes, it should be you who files. I would retain a lawyer immediately and have a discussion immediately with your wife about divorce if you can't work through this. You can't, but I know you want to try. Make it clear that you'll file at fault divorce for infidelity if she won't agree to a fair and equitable split ahead of time. See your lawyer and have a division of marital assets contract completed and signed by her. Then enter therapy, knowing she can't blow it off and crush you in the divorce. In particular, do not move out of your home. That is mistake number one. All this is not only the best way to make your divorce not destroy your life, but also it's the best way to make her take therapy seriously. She will know that if it fails, you're out and you're not afraid to go. Story 3. This is my first time posting. My wife of 14 years cheated on me with two different men for approximately one year. It first started on our 14th wedding anniversary weekend and continued until I found out by looking at her phone nearly a year later. D-Day was two years ago and we've been trying to reconcile. She's been doing everything she can to make things right. But I just don't trust her anymore and don't think I ever will. She lied about details whenever she could and would admit to it whenever I produced the truth. The only reason I stayed at the time was because of my two kids. But I don't know if this is what I want anymore. Now for some comments. Reconcile requires honesty and the longer it's withheld from the other, then how can there ever be a path to reconciliation? If this is what you need and she refuses to share with you the truth, then move on with your life without her. 
seek a chance to find truth, trust, and love in someone else. Yeah, I'd be gone. As much as you tried and did not deserve this during your commitment. Any one human that lies about details purposely leaves them out and calls you a detective over it. Dragging your heart and life around while she's busy on some lucid damaging affair does not deserve any chance. You're too nice and it sounds like she's moved on ages ago. What a way to enjoy an anniversary weekend than her cheating. Then you cough up evidence and she gives you, who knows, maybe the entire truth. But confess. She's convinced in her mind that you'll always be there so she can do whatever she wants. You need to realize she's not who you think she is and protect your family and avoid her at all costs. Good luck, dude. It's been five years for me and I'll never trust a woman again. I do what I want. You need to read Chump Lady's book, Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life. You can also follow her blog posts on chumplady.com. Here's what I gathered from your post. You don't feel safe in your relationship anymore. And that's because the trust is gone. That's all you need to make your decision. She knew what she was doing. She knew the consequences. She did it anyway. You don't owe her a reconciliation. And if you reconcile, it's only a trial to see if you can get past this. If you couldn't, then you get to leave. And that is not on you. It's on the person who engaged in her illicit affairs. You have two options, OP. You can keep living like this or move forward and start healing and get away from this.